As with any page layout program, layout has some drawing tools that we can use. It has a pencil tool such for creating straight lines. It has a freehand tool. Now notice how each one of these tools actually has a pull down menu next to it so you can actually switch between the tools. We also have arcs and we have several different types of arcs that we can use as well. Now let's go through each of these tools and see how they work. Instead of drawing on our existing document, I'm actually going to create a new document. And in this case, I'm actually going to use some graph paper. So let's go ahead and open that. And as you can see, we've got this basic graph paper. So let's go ahead and work with the pencil tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select the pencil tool. Now notice when I have this graph paper up, how I'm actually snapping to the grid points. If I did File, New, and created one that didn't have the graph paper on it, you could see how the line tool just moves freely. So the graph paper is really handy if you want to do very specific types of drawing where you need to snap to a grid or something like that. Now the line tool works pretty much like the tool in SketchUp. You just click and just lay out your points for your line. Now if you want to control the curvature of a line, you just click and drag and you can get a Bezier type of curve. So this is nice for creating curvature. And again, if you just left click and hold, you can create curvature here. And then if you want to, you can close the curve just by going back over your starting point. And once you do, it'll actually create an enclosed curve with whatever color you've selected. Now, once we have this object, we can select the object and then manipulate it. This is the selection tool here. The shortcut is the space bar. And once you have that active, you can just drag your shape wherever you want. Now notice how also on the corners we have all these little kind of arrow icons and those just allow us to scale it in whatever direction we want. Now if we don't want this we can always hit the delete key. So that's the line tool. Now we also have a freehand tool which allows us to just draw however we want, whatever shape and so on. So those are the basic line tools. We also have arc tools. So the first one is just the basic arc. And what you do is you basically lay down the radius of the curve, and then you click and drag, and then you can sweep out however much of that circle you want. Let's go ahead and delete that. The next one is called a two-point arc. Now what this does is it allows you to create, again, a baseline but then we use a third point to actually control the curvature. This is great because really what you're doing is you're almost creating a diameter, but not really, you're creating actually a cord along the curve, and then you can just move it up and down however you want. Let's try that again. So basically you sweep out the base of this, and then you pull it up or down. So you can see how that interacts. So we can select those and delete those. And now let's do a three-point arc. And what we do here is we take a basic curve. And as you can see, now we've got one, two, three. So let's try that one more time. So what you've got here is it's almost the opposite of the two-point curve. Because basically what you do is you create your end point and then a middle point, And then you can create another endpoint. Now this is great because what you can do is you can actually create curves that are a little bit less intuitive here. So if you want to hit a couple points, so it's one, two, three. So you can see how that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. And the last one is a pi. It's very similar to the first tool, but again, it just creates a pie shape, any sort of section of a circle. So those are the basic line drawing tools within layout.